What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex, you know, MTV Alex. I uploaded a little short the other day where I was, well, I'm still on the process cleaning out my bottom bracket and everything, but I'm still working on this Polygon CSQ T8 and I'm doing something that I have never done. This is Otto. Diesel's and Freya's son uh, is my dad's and I'm taking care of him because he's in Mexico right now. Let me show you. I have actually never taken off the fork on this bike before. Man, look at this. And uh, I've been cleaning uh, a lot of the bushings and things like that. And uh, I thought it was about time to do it. And I'm glad I did. I took off the, uh, well, let me, you know, you know, you already know. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Turn the notification bell on. Check affiliate links for the description uh, in the description below to help out the channel. And please subscribe, comment and share. And let me know if you had any, just comment throughout, you know. So let me show you. I remove the stem cap over here, loosen this up, and look at this bearing right there. Uh, I know it's my fault. I'm gonna take this whole thing apart and, and let's see what we can find out about this thing. Hold on just a second. Okay, so the fork is out, the cups, they seem to be okay. Just a little bit dusty, but nothing major. I don't see any damage or anything like that. By the way, these are FSAs, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look at the bottom one, same thing. The bottom seems to be pretty fine, but got the fork off. By the way, this is the Rock Shock Revelation. This is Devil Nair. I got the FSA top cap. Then it has a dust cover. Of course, the centering piece right there. Mm, nice. So what I'm gonna do is clean all this up and you can actually see the bearings in there. They're not a 100% sealed like other bearings that I've seen. So I'm gonna clean all this up, grease everything. Look at the bottom one. Same thing with the bottom. That's a little more light over here. So I'm gonna try to repack them a little bit and clean them up because there's a little bit of rust surface rust maybe that's just dust yeah that's just dust it comes right off so i'm gonna clean all this up and put it back in there so hopefully this will i mean this is something that i knew that polygons come in more lube than not but actually looking at the crown rays I don't see any lube in there, so I should have taken this apart almost when I got it, and I never did. That was my mistake. I, it has never given me any problems up to date, but uh, I probably should have done that. So I'm going to clean all this up, re-grease everything, and put it back up. Just a note, it is kind of disappointing that this thing has no grease whatsoever around here. I mean, there's grease where they pressed in the, the cup right there. You can see that right there on the bottom. But I don't see any grease at all in this area. Anyway, I mean, it might not need it, but that's something that we're used to do. There's also no grease whatsoever right here. So I'm going to grease all that up. I already cleaned up the bearings. They came out good. There was no rust. It was just surface stain, whatever. So I'm going to try to pack in a little more greasing here. This is all good to go. Also, there is no grease on the crown rays whatsoever. That's kind of disappointing that Polygon or Bikes Online, whoever assembles this before shipping, that they don't take care of this issue right here. I mean, it's pretty easy to get, get it done, but you could expect a little more on a $2,500 bike. Again, I'm not saying that there's, this is a bad bike, because it is not. It is a really good bike. It has never given me any problems. But the QA is... They got to check on that. Does the crown race off. And look at this. It's, it's, it's dry. 
100% dry. This is not uh, one of the ones that has, it has to be pressed in, but uh, it comes out really easy with the flat head over here. So I'm gonna clean this up, grease it, and put the crown raise up again. Now I gotta, I gotta press the crown raise in, and I got a homemade uh, crown raise press thing in here. And I think it's a PVC, I think it's a one and a quarter or one and a half pipe, it has to be one and a half. But this works wonders. All you gotta do, put it on top and either hit it with the hammer Easy peasy. So let's take this back over here, remove excess grease, put everything back up, and this thing should be ready to go. All right, so I got grease right there. So when you put it back, let's put it back like so. Then get your centering piece. This will help it keep it centered. Then we got a dust cap for this one and then the top cap and put the stand back on and it should be good to go. All right, so this thing is coming along really well, but since we all know that this is my favorite bike, I think I can go, do, uh, go ahead and do something about those, those brakes right there. So, what I'm thinking is about swapping those 203s from the black Axum into my Polygon because why not? That's the one that I use the most. And when I get to ride the Axum, I usually just take it for the trail a little bit and then the street. So I don't need those 203s, although they look freaking badass, but I'm gonna put them over here. Why not? Again, take the wheels off, take the rotors off. I'm gonna use those adapters, I guess in this bike and i'm gonna put this tectros right there i mean just the, the tectro uh, rotors in there so i took off the rear pads because i thought they were worn out because sometimes it was making noise but they're not they're actually pretty good so i'm just gonna make a new surface by sanding them down just a little bit you don't have to go crazy on this you smooth them out, remove any imperfections, and it should be good to go back in. All right, so I finished up with what I was doing with this, so let's go over what I did real quick. Okay, I took out the cranks and the bottom brackets, cleaned everything up, regrease, all good to go, and it's Spinning smoothly, no issues right there. Took out the headset because uh, as, I, as you saw, there was no grease. I checked on it, cleaned everything up, re-greased it, repacked it, it's good to go. And also replace the uh, rotors. Those are the 203s, those things look badass. Something I should have done a long time ago, and this is the end product, Taco. Does diesel barking outside? Uh, sorry about that, there's nothing I can do. And uh, diesel, callate! So that's the end result. This bike is gonna shred, it keeps shredding, and uh, hopefully I can get better as a rider and conquer more uh, different uh, features on the trail. And uh, But other than that, I think I'm really good techie a rider, and this bike is, is trail ready. It's been through already. Now with those rotors, it's gonna have more stopping power. Oh, another thing that I did, I showed you, took out the brake pads, sand them down a little bit, and all good to go. Cleaned it up, and ready to shred. So that was just preventive maintenance, a couple of upgrades, and that's it for today. I also have, for the rotors, I have to take the adapters from the Axum and put them over here, 
and they fit really well. And then I put these rotors, the, the, te the original Tector rotors back on the Axum. I took the rear adapter from the T8 and put it on the Axum. The front one did not need it except for just the spacer between the caliper and where it sat, but it's all good to go. And it's hanging right there. Rocking Tektro rotors. So again, preventive maintenance, keep it on your schedule. Every once in a while, wouldn't hurt, clean up uh, dusty parts and re-grease everything as it should. But other than that, I hope that you learned something today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna support the channel, there's a good way, different ways that you can do it through the affiliate links in the description below. Check those out. And other than that, that's gonna wrap it up. And I'll see you on the trails. Let's ride. Goodbye.